Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be going over the Bitcoin chart, we are going to be going over this quite substantial rise in price and really why this rise in price is happening and I want to go over the exact details, uh, the exact targets and my exact trade. Um, I think that you're going to absolutely love the video, I think that you're going to learn a lot from it but it is a bit of a sad video, uh, you know a bit of a s sad video to start off with here um you know what can we say uh you know a little bit is this being a missed opportunity is is the low in on the bitcoin chart and are we, are we never going to be seeing these lows again um you know well this is what i'm going to hopefully be answering and you know myself i'm feeling this feeling this regret you know i'm waking up this morning with this sick feeling in my stomach thinking oh my god i've i've missed the low on bitcoin it's it's over i'm i'm a fool uh, you know, X, Y, and Z. <clears throat> but I hope that you are all well, ladies and gentlemen, as I'm almost dying here. I hope that you are all well. Um, and uh, why, why is this video so sad, you might ask? Is it because you missed the bottom, Daniel? Is it because uh, something's happened? Why, why I need to take a drink before I'm dying here? Why, why are you making a live stream at 8.30 in the morning? when you're normally you normally uh doing other things and well, the reason i'm waking this live stream today i've 24 hours no sleep 20 over 24 hours no sleep now maybe i'm a bit sleep deprived <laughs> or maybe it's this maybe it's this ladies and gentlemen i wanted to bring you the video this morning i was i had it on my mind that i might be bringing you a video this morning of a loss as i posted in my in my group last night i kind of want to lose this trade so i can might finally make a video for youtube talking about a loss and the winning streak has gone you know the winning streak's gone on too long i really thought i might be posting to you this morning uh, a a losing trade uh, you know i had it planned in my mind i had it planned in my mind you know i knew exactly why i was taking this trade I know exactly where I was wrong and i had already worked out uh, what i was going to be saying in this morning's youtube video had i had lost you know so it's a little bit unfortunate for me i'm a little bit sad that once again we have won the trade the winning streak continues and the champions crush the charts once again yes ladies and gentlemen of course i'm not sad of course we traded this low and of course we got to pump out of it that's what i'm going to talk you through in today's video uh the 24 hours no sleep though is no joke i am very sleep deprived but hey we're making so much money off these charts it's absolutely brilliant as you know from yesterday's video of course you knew i was long we were actually putting in the exact title that we are exactly long on this trade it was exactly what we were doing is this a surprise for anyone right now that we're getting the pump out of this low of the range hopefully not hopefully you were long and well that's what we're going to be going through ladies and gentlemen oh what a day what a day what a day look at these lovely 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 people in the comments section howdy all um hope that you are all doing very well <laughs> probably gonna pass out after this stream not gonna lie uh yeah you could absolutely smash up the likes smash up the likes ladies and gentlemen give a like to the video share the video with your friends share the video with your family share the video with anybody that is interested in bitcoin because you know, 100 years ago, if you wanted to, well, no, let's just say 50 years ago, if you wanted to witness the best trader in the world, well, you'd probably have to go to, I don't know, they'd probably just be writing some books. But now, the 20th century, 2021, the best cryptocurrency trader online, you can see him right now live in a video. And so that is, I think, a privilege for you. It's a, it's a, it's a pleasure for me. And hey, let's go through this trade. Let's go through to take profits. Let's go through the targets. Let's go through what is happening right now, and because I think it's very interesting, uh, very interesting indeed. So we obviously come down to around our low of the range, ladies and gentlemen. This was obviously our fifty-three thousand dollars support level that we've been giving for the last few days while we were inside this range. Obviously, we had a pretty key level of support down at the low of the range, but it's not just that. It's not just that that we had down here, really. Uh, what else was going on? You know, what else are we thinking um, when it comes to trading? I've got a few different, like, posts lined up here that I want to be going through. Um, all, I, all I can say is that we're going to be going a bit left, right, and center, I feel, but I do feel that if you pay attention to some of the words I'm saying in this video, uh, you know, you've got some, if you've got your notepad out, get your notepad out, get your pen and paper, because, hey, you are witnessing one of the best traders in the world right now, so, uh, yeah, make some notes, just make some notes, uh, you know, thank yourself at the end of it. Um, so, obviously, yeah, moving on, 
we um we 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 were looking at obviously and taking these longs yesterday. Obviously, the thing is, I'd hit my take profit one of fifty five thousand five hundred, and I was debating what's happening next. Well, in the in the end, we got a decline in price. Okay, so what happens when you have taken profits around the high? Well, you can obviously look to compound, look to form a new strategy, look to form a new trade, uh, and that's exactly what I did. Okay, so if we start to move on here. If you're inside of the group, if you're inside of the contenders or champions, you will know I gave a key horizontal level a few days ago, literally two days ago, uh, $53,559. Just remember that. Just remember that. And, uh, you know, ponder to yourself, how do I get these sort of things? $53,559, okay? Uh, obviously, you can see here at order level what the move was. So I am half asleep. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm pretty much half asleep. Obviously, this is what this is yesterday at 7 a.m. Okay, we're 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 8 30 a.m. right now. 24 hours. 24 hours. You might be thinking, why why? What's going on for <laughs> to have no sleep? But 50, 24 hours ago, we were obviously talking about this $53,000 support, and it was definitely holding back then, and it's definitely still holding now. Uh, all I would say is live in the time that I do think this. Uh, we have the potential of a, you know, you have the potential of a swing failure pattern. We'll keep our eyes on this. I'm sure we'll be talking through this video about half an hour, no more. Um, so we'll keep our eyes on this. Should we start to come down? Let's put an alert on. Should this happen? So then if it does come off, I've never had that alert before. If that alert comes off during the video, I will stop exactly what I'm talking and I'll talk you through the price action, okay? So we've put the alert, should we need to come back to the price action? Uh, but for the time being, I want to talk you through these Discord posts because they're pretty amazing. Uh, <laughs> so obviously, yeah, 24 hours ago, we had $53,000 support. What was $53,000 support? It was the range low, and that's exactly why I was longing 24 hours ago. Well, 24 hours ago, we made our way up from 53K low, and we made our way up, we made our way up. We, we, we topped out in the end around $55,500. We put in a high. And we made our way back down. Well, we made our way back down. Where do we make our way back down to? We made our way back down to $53,559, my key level of support. Okay. Well, what happened here? What was even more interesting? What was even more interesting of what was going on down here? Ladies and gentlemen, what was even more interesting of what was going on down here was this. Um, it really was this. Last night at, well, I guess you could call it today, <laughs> half, half 12 at night. We had the Asian bear, you know, you had the bears coming out. Obviously, there's a renowned uh, meme, I suppose, in the market right now that the, that the um, you know, the Asian session pushes down. The Asian session is obviously between midnight and what well, coming on like 4 a.m., 6 a.m. You got the, the, you know, you obviously got your London sessions, your Asian sessions, your New York sessions. And, uh, you know, over the past, you know, few months, really, you've got it's kind of being renowned that the Asian session is is bearish. And that's exactly what happened last night. The Asian session for the first half an hour of it started bearish. You saw the initial 1% move to the downside. Obviously, we're talking about 1%. You have to remember when you when you are trading the timeframes, I trade 1% is a nice move. But you had the, the Asian session start off very bearish. And um, I started saying to my team, uh, Asia has no power here. Load the dip times 30 leverage. Some guy says, not a responsible thing to say. Well, I'm very responsible uh, because why? I don't throw darts at a board. I trade on sure things. And basically, I'm going to rearrange this to say every trade that you take is won before it is ever, before you even enter. Before you even enter the trade, it is your trade is either won or lost before you've even entered it, before you even know. How is this? Your trade is either won or lost before you even enter that trade, depending on your mindset, how you're entering, the technical analysis that you're entering. For example, if you are longing right now at the top of this candle, is it likely you've already lost the trade before you've even entered it? I would say yes. If you are entering a long right now, you have already lost your trade and you don't even know it right now. I mean, this is the thing in trading. And I want to emphasize this one more time. Where is that beautiful quote? Do not do not be a casino. We are not a casino. We are not throwing random darts. We are not throwing random longs, random shorts. We are taking calculated risks based off of the best technical analysis in the crypto space right now, period. We are not gambling. We are the casino. We are the casino. We are we are trading off of probabilities, but we have high, high, high probabilities in our favor. That's how we're able to take these trades time and time and time again. And your trade is either won or lost before you even enter. If you're trading off a of poor technical analysis, if you're trading these breakouts, if you're getting scared and fearful at the lows, you've already lost your trade before it's even entered.
Okay, that's how we're able to maintain these very nice losing, these very nice winning streaks. I thought I might have had a loss this morning. There was the potential, but we'll keep on going. We'll keep on winning. And here we are once again coming up to the highs. Obviously, we could say it's very important that we maintain above these highs at the moment. Um, would I long up here? Absolutely no, I wouldn't long up here. Why wouldn't I long up here? You might say, why, Daniel, we're breaking out. Why wouldn't you long up here? This is a breakout. Well, the reason why I would not buy this breakout is because I absolutely long the bottom of the move. I'm the guy that's causing the breakout. Why would I long up here when I'm literally longing down here? You see how it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, moving on. I got some even more pretty interesting things for you to see here. So obviously this is what we were going through last night. I said I'm going to fight the Asian bears tonight. <laughs> I'm going to fight those Asian bears tonight. They wanted to bring down the market. Well, hey, I wanted to see different things. I wanted to see the market go up. We were getting on the bears and we were absolutely riding them. <laughs> Wait till Daniel slaughters them. That's exactly what we were going to do. Try and slaughter the bears as the bull market continues. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we start to see even, even even better memes appearing. We've got the Animal Crossing, and it's only up from here. We're never coming down again. Never coming down again. This is obviously a slight over-exaggeration, but you get the idea. We were definitely looking for those longs. Get the 60 million long in, make the call, and let's do this. Well, we got another interesting meme that happened last night. <laughs> They're starting to panic sell. This is probably my favorite meme of the moment right now. This is really is my favorite meme of the moment. <laughs> They're panic selling. They're panic selling. You know what's next. You know what we've got to do next. Got to print the money. Get the money printers out. And uh, was that a small short squeeze? Absolutely. That was a little bit of a short squeeze. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, basically what I want... <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this video. Lina. This is what happens when you don't have sleep. I am going to I am gonna pass out after this live stream. I'm not joking. I, I will pass out after this live stream. But yeah... <clears throat> How, how, what did we have going on here? So what did we have going on? Well, I have a really, really, really interesting thing to show you. Uh, what did we... Um, uh, if you're a contender, you know this new pattern that I'm tracking. This is all I want to say. If you're a contender or a champion, you know the new pattern that I am tracking. As I tell you, I put in the hard work. I'm putting in hard work every single day. There's a new pattern that no one else knows about. I'm already tracking that pattern and you're going to be hearing about it. And there was a new pattern that I told you in the last Contenders live stream, yeah? I don't really want to say it in this public video, but if you remember Wednesday's live stream where I told you the new pattern that I'm trading, look at this. You have the pattern on the chart. This is a bullish pattern that formed this morning at these lows. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you'll know soon. Um, but all I'm going to say is we had a bullish pattern down here. And uh, really, what do we start to do? Well, we come down to our support level. Obviously, for, for everybody, you have, this, you have this key support level, $53,559. You see, we actually put in the low, uh, fifty-three thousand five hundred eighty-one dollars, um, and I, all I want to say is, if you're a contender or a champion, you you can obviously write in the comment section and confirm that this is all legit. This is why I've done this video in a live stream, so you can read people's comments on the site. So if you're a contender or a champion, you can uh, confirm. And no, it's not a W pattern for people. I just saw the comment straight away. W pattern? No, this is not a W pattern. I will tell you that it's it's not a W pattern. Um, and, and, um, yeah, what I'm going with this is obviously what we, what we have down here, we, in the end, we had, uh, we all know, we all know the, the primary reason is obviously that we're at the range low. So we're at the range, range low. So what happens at this range low? Okay. So what is happening at the low of the range? Just, just think to yourselves, what is happening down at these lows? And you might be thinking, la, 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 what is happening down at these lows? Well, guess what? Bitcoin broke a random trend line yesterday that honestly nobody cares about. But guess what was happening? Everybody's panic selling. Everybody's worried about this random trend line. And everybody's giving these sort of bearish scenarios. Uh, Daniel, I smell panic selling at support. This was obviously yesterday. This, the, the second meme of, that was probably one of the best. It hit $53,000 and they all started to panic sell. <laughs> I mean, what was happening yesterday? We hit the range low and people are panicking and this is the thing 24 hours in crypto a lot changes 24 well, even 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 three hours here over the past three hours you're going to see the people that were really bearish at the lows suddenly thinking that everything's really bullish and everything's shiny and everything's good but not even 24 hours ago they were worrying and they were panic selling at the lows was I panic selling at the lows no I was happily buying down at the lows because why if we have the lower the range we look for longs p 
period. We look for longs when price is going down. We look for shorts when price is going up. If you are longing down here, I cannot say anything apart from you're absolutely crazy. If you are shorting at the range low, you do not know what you are doing. You just have no idea what you're doing in trading and you should just give up right now because this is the crazy time to short. This is crazy time to short if you are shorting at $53,000. Anywhere inside $53,000, if you're shorting, you are have no an idea what you're doing in trading i'm sorry to say it but it's, it's just true because you do not short at the range lows period you do not short at the range lows you, you you look for longs down here so it's really not that difficult you know i i mean this uh you know it's just really not that difficult well it's the exact words that i said yesterday it's not that hard it is really not that hard buy low, sell high. You know how easy that sounds, buy low and sell high? You might say, of course you buy low and sell high. But why does the market continuously buy up at the highs because they're feeding FOMO and then they sell at the lows when they're feeling fear and they're reading re really random things on, let's just say, other outlets that are looking bearish and they're panicking and they're giving bearish scenarios. Well, you know, this is the thing. The, the sheep will get slaughtered. <laughs> bulls make money at the end of the day bears make money bears can make money from shorting up at the highs they're uh, shorting at retraces shorting at swing failure patterns and bulls can make money by longing at lows but bears can make money bulls can make money but hogs and pigs they get slaughtered so these greedy traders these fearful traders they're going to get slaughtered time and time and time and time and time again and they're going to continuously transfer the wealth to the good traders it really is the simple mechanic of the market and it's brilliant and it's all based off the psychology and the emotions of the market. It's absolutely wonderful. It really, really, really is. You might be thinking to yourself, well, Daniel, you, you seem uh, you seem pretty fun, you know, pretty city, pretty city, <laughs> seem pretty content. Well, of course I'm pretty content. How can I not be content? Um... Uh, We've done one of the best, I think I've done one of the best trades in terms of profit, in terms of dollar profit off of this trade. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling very good about this long. Um, <laughs> and I'm sure many other people in the group are feeling very, very happy about this long. Um, I'm sure even people, you know, this is the thing, this, this was my public. This, this is in the spectators section. I posted in the spectators yesterday. Where was that post off the spectators bit? Um... If I can find it, if I can find it, if I can find it, I don't even know anymore. Um, but basically, uh, yeah, here you go. Spectators, free spectators section. If you're not in our Discord, which is absolutely free, you've got to join the Discord. Because I do pop into the spectators, hand them a little lifeline at time to time. The guy says, Dan, give us a clue so we can have some money to join Chart Champions. I say, hey, I'm still in my long position. If that's not a clue, then I don't know what is. I gave the clue. We got some thumbs up. Hey. We got it right. We got it right once again. Um, you know, so what, what are we thinking here then? So what are we looking at? Obviously, you know my position. I'm in a long. What, what are we looking at here for our next potential support resistances then? You know, what, what's going on here? Well, I think the first thing that we can do very simply, we can start to pull this fib. Ladies and gentlemen, you start to see where could be sensible take profits. Uh, this is our CC resistance. I always say this is an important level of resistance. A really uh, important level. You can see the low of this is coming in 56,000, about $56,380. Uh, current high of the move, $56,370. This is our CC resistance, really important level. You know, I do truly think if you had followed anything that I said over the past 24 hours and you were in longs, I obviously feel this is a nice take profit. Why? Because this is our CC resistance, you know, it's a, a, a nice take profit. Why is this a nice, nice take profit in my ass? Well, there's the potential that we obviously do this. Uh, that's a potential. Obviously, if you just go straight through like this, are you going to be annoyed at yourself taking profit? That's the question I want to ask you. Are you going to be annoyed if you take profit right now and we go straight through the level? Take profit means a percentage of profit taken. Could be 20%, could be 80%. But are you going to be annoyed if you take profits here and price goes straight through like this? Would you be annoyed at yourself? Would you feel regret? If you have answered yes to that question, trading is not for you. You are not a trader because if you are not taking profit at this level, you are not a trader, period. And you, I say shame on you for even trying to think that you are because this is a nice level to take profits. This is literally a level where you can get a retracement. Hey, you could even sell some here and buy it back here because 
you know, this is just how you trade. And if you get annoyed at yourself for taking profit and price continues up, you deserve to overall lose money because that's not trading. It's just really is not trading. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's just not trading. Um, so yeah, this is why I think this is a sensible take profit. Could we go on through the level? Of course we could go on through the level, but is anybody going to be annoyed if they take profit? Uh, I hope not because you're literally making money. How can you be annoyed about taking profit? And get, how would you, what would you be more annoyed about? Taking profit and price goes up or taking profit and price comes down. I think you're going to be more annoyed if you don't take profit and price comes down. No, I think that's going to be much more annoying because it's much more annoying to lose money than it is to say, oh my God, I could have made more. Um, <laughs> trust me, trust me on that one. Um, Man, coming up 9 a.m. Uh, <laughs> coming up 9 a.m. 24 hours no sleep. I was defending. I was defending hard last night. What can I say? We were we were up during the Asian hours to put in our to put put in our defense of the lows to put in our short squeeze. I did say I I had a hand on my heart. This video this morning, if I had long lost that long trade with 1 million percent certainty, I was going to do the video today talking about the loss, talking through why I lost this trade. I was going to explain why I longed at the lows, why I was invalidated on the long and, you know, what went wrong. I, I literally had the, the, the live stream planned because I actually kind of really wanted to do a losing live stream. <laughs> However sad that sounds, there was a part of me... <laughs> Or the, the part of me that wanted to be that wanted to make a nice live stream wanted me to lose the part of me that just wants to win every single trade he takes and loves the money and absolutely basks in the amount of money that I'm making this morning obviously wanted me to win but a small small part of me wanted to take that loss strangely enough so I could have brought you the video but hey <laughs> you got it once again another winning video another long taken up low another another take profit here on the trade and um I just don't even know what else to say, to be honest with you. I really don't. I do promise you the next the next major loss that I take, I, I will 100% with honestly certainty, I will talk you through the loss. I, I will talk you through the loss. I, 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 I will. The, the winning streak has gone on a bit too long and I and there's obviously going to be people doubting, is this even legit? You know, if you're, a, if you're a random guy watching the YouTube over the past you know, a few weeks, you're going to be thinking, just how does this guy keep winning? This, this is just, just not real. <laughs> and I don't really understand. I do, I understand it, you know. Um, and then that's why I'm doing the live stream here. That's why I'm doing the live stream. So you can read the comments. So you can, you can read the comments section, you know. Of course, there's going to be a few trolls in here. But if you read like 90% of the comments, 95% of the comments from people in the group, they, they will be able to back up exactly what I'm talking you through here, that this was no... This is this is this is not being a joke that we're talking through. We hit CCV targets up here. We have swing failure pattern this high. We did come down to the lower the range. And my exact words are like it's suicide. If you're shorting down here, it's suicide. Those are like my exact words. If you short down here, it's suicide in a mer metaphorical way. <laughs> of course, mer metaphorically, it was it was trading suicide if you were shorting down here. My exact words in the group. But um, yeah. What can I say? What are the level of resistance that we have now? Is this is this CC? Of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, why is it? Because it, because I said it is. <laughs> you know, I mean, I mean, this obviously really light hearted, ladies and gentlemen. Please don't take it. Please don't take. Please don't get offended by what I say. But see, this meme isn't for everybody. But you know, what can I say? We, people just think about these random things. They they literally make no difference in the world. And um, you know, the only things that make difference is is is, is really your strong technical analysis. And I, and I and I do know this for a fact. I know this for a fact. A lot of a lot of people are joining chart champions, a lot of people that you might be very surprised in. I think you're going to start to hear people talk more about, uh, you know, the point of controls, the value areas, the Fibonacci levels. I have a I have a strange feeling uh, that you're going to start to see more and more and more and more and more people talk about the way I trade. Uh, because why? Because it works. And if people want to learn my methods, hey, that's absolutely brilliant. Um, it, I don't feel it's going to put me at a disadvantage in the slightest. Why? Because it's not at the end of the day, it's not even my technical analysis. I have a strong reading of the market in terms of the psychology of the market. It really is not just the technicals. When I'm taking half the trades I'm taking, yeah, the te technicals are nice. But 50% of my, my orders are really because I'm playing 5D chess. I've told you this before. I'm playing 5D chess. I'm reading my opponent's moves before they even know the move that they want to take. I know the exact trade they're going to be taking before they take it. 
I can read what 95% of the market are doing. And that's why I know to go the other way, because I want to be in the 5%. I want to be in that select few inside of trading that actually makes money consistently. This is not easy. Although I may make, 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 make it seem easy, trading is not easy. 95% of people lose money. And that's just a hard, cold fact. Um, this is really, really not as easy as it seems. Although I might make it seem easy, what you do not see is the hours and hours and hours and hours. Like last night, I've gone 24 hours no sleep. Was it was it easy to take that trade that I took? Um, no, it, it wasn't. You know, you, you're battling at the time while taking these long positions on a pretty big downtrend. On a pretty big downtrend, pretty, pretty big red candles. This is going to scare a lot of people out. You have to remember, of course, it looks really easy now. But when I'm taking these longs, when I'm posting these things in the group, when I'm like literally talking about the trades, it's not it's not easy. It's not easy because what's happening at this moment in time, people are thinking, right, it's falling down. We've broken these random things that nobody cares about. But, you know, people are scared. So it's, it's not as easy as it seems. It really isn't. Uh, you know, I, I mean that totally honestly. It really is not as easy as I make it seem because you're not seeing the emotions that are behind my head. You're not seeing the way you know, the amount of hours that I'm putting into every single day, you know, 16 hour days, every single day, I'm recording statistics, I'm journaling my trades, I'm, I'm finding new patterns that are forming on the chart, how from literally looking at this every single day. And I mean this, I, mean, I truly mean it, like, I work hard, I work hard and, and I reap the rewards, I am heavily reaping the rewards in terms of trading. If you're, if you're in, again, if you're in the group, you know how much money I'm making right now, in terms of <laughs> In terms of monthly, uh, in ter what's the word? In terms of monthly, uh, I can't even think of it. Monthly profit from Bitcoin trades. Like I'm making insane trades. I'm putting a hell of a lot of money on every single trade I'm taking. But I've earned the right. I've earned the right to put on a lot of money on my trades. Why? Because I'm having an insane winning streak. I'm having an insane... <laughs> I'm having insane confluence in the markets and these gains that I'm making right now. Yeah, I deserve I, I truly think I deserve it because I'm putting in a, I've put in a, yeah, I'm working hard. What can I say? And it's, it's not luck. It, you know, this, this is not luck that I'm longing here. It's not luck that we're looking at, you know, shorts and eyes. This is not luck. This is, this is, this is, oh, off of uh, technical analysis what can i say uh you know do we're not manipulating the market we're not we're not counter trading anybody else we are just trading the charts i don't you know this is the thing i don't care at the end of the day what anyone else is doing of course i'm looking at what i'm looking i'm able to look at what other people are doing in the market in terms of okay reading what what other people are thinking but i'm never going to base my trade off of what anybody else is doing i couldn't care less what anybody else's trade is the only trade i care about is my own trade period period. That's the only thing I care about, my own trade. And I mean that. I truly mean that. It's the only thing I care about, my own trades. Why would I care what anyone else is doing? The answer is I don't. I, I, I truly do not care what anybody else is doing. Like the only person I care about is, is, <laughs> is my trades. Like that, that's the only thing I care about is my trades. I mean that. I truly, truly do. Um, we got, I'll, 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 uh, I'll give you a nice quote here. I'll give you a nice quote. Um, <laughs> yes <laughs> i could i could have done a members live stream right now. i could have probably maybe i should have done a members live stream and said the public one but it, it was hard to turn it it was hard to turn down uh <laughs> it was hard to turn down this public one and, and you know i'm like a little i'm like a peacock fly, flying with his feathers right now i'm just like basking in the glory <laughs> but hey I've, I've i've earned the right to bask in the glory <laughs> oh man this is what happens <laughs> face of the guy who just made one of the trades of his life in 24 hours and no sleep. this is what this is the this is what you get if you're in the group this is the sort of photos that you get. <laughs> oh man look at this yeah that, 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 that's funny man um um and this is this is what i'm going to end you with and this is this is this is a um this this is a quote that everybody needs to know okay great minds discuss ideas Average minds discuss events and small minds discuss people. What are we doing every day inside the group? We are discussing ideas in terms of technical analysis. It's the only thing I like to discuss. Ideas, charting, I suppose, and Latinas. <laughs> Latinas? If you, uh, you know, we, we like to discuss the Las Chicas. What can I say? But, you know, we like to discuss, discuss Latinas. We like to... <laughs> You might think this is some sort of... Obviously, we, we, we have everybody inside the group. Everybody's welcome. But yeah, we love to discuss trades. 
what we don't love to discuss are, you know, events that we have no control over and we don't like to discuss other people. The only thing we like to discuss and talk about are trades. And hey, we can talk about another winning one today. What a, what a trade that was, no, ladies and gentlemen? Um, it really is. And this is the quote to live by. If This is a quote to live by. It really is. That's the quote you want to print out and remember. Because, yeah, I think it's important. And the second quote... This is this is my quote. This this is this is my this is this is my one. Well, it's an adaptation of a quote uh, by what was the guy called? I want to say Mark Douglas, but it's not Mark Douglas. It's the guy that looks like Mark Douglas, and he's called Mark. I just can't remember his second name. But the quote that you want to live by is, "Your trade is already won and lost before you've even entered it." So before you've even entered that trade, it's already predetermined whether it's winning or losing. I'm telling you that now. It's already predetermined whether it's going to win or it's look it's going to lose. If you're trading out of fear, FOMO, emotions, buying up at the highs, selling up at down at the lows, um, you know, if you're if you're trading off of you know uh, what's what somebody's saying on YouTube, that that includes myself. That absolutely does include myself. If you're trading off of somebody else's ideas, you've already lost the trade before you've even entered it. Give your money to charity. Just instead of trading and wasting your money, just give it to charity. Because that's all you're going to do. You're just going to continuously lose money. And it's better off in a charity for a charity. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, if, if you take those sort of trades, you're just going to give your money to me. <laughs> and I don't need really need any more money. So give it to charity. Um, you know, this 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 really is the thing. Uh, you know, your trade is predetermined, with, you know, before you've even entered it. So when you think about that, stop being a gambler. Stop entering trades at random times. Start doing technical analysis. Start working out the high probabilities. And instead of being a gambler at the short machine, short slot machines, entering random trades, be the casino. Enter longs when you have high probabilities. Enter shorts when you have high probabilities. And only trade the best trades. Stop taking random bad trades. Stop getting in the mindset of, no, I'm never going to take profit. Stop getting in the mindset of, I'm not going to enter this trade because I'm scared. And I, that really is what, what I'm going to say. And I will end with this last thing. I think uh, confidence. Uh, confidence, confidence, confidence. Uh, let me find this post that I want to show you. CC. CC. Now, it is a post about confidence. Um, where was it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, man, I can't even find it. But I done a funny post about confidence uh, this morning, and I and I kind of can't find it right now. I'm not sure why it doesn't show up on my recent post. I remember posting it. Anyway, I I can't actually remember where I where where this post is. I'm not sure why, but I can't find it. I anyway, I wrote a post in the group about confidence this morning, and it was just like. Uh, I, I mentioned about, you know, where, where I was going to take profit one on my trade. And someone said, hey, why are you taking profit one on this trade? Um, I can't, I don't know why I can't find a post, but there you go. Um, obviously, yeah, so we're in the CC at the moment. This is uh, 56,380 to 56,615. This is obviously an intermediate level. Um, you know, top of this 56,615. Should we push through this level? I do think that you're going to be looking up towards, yeah, about 50, 57K. Um, and, 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 and obviously your important support now is going to be, uh, still is this key level here, 53,559. Such a key level. If you lose that, well, I, I wouldn't even be that worried. The thing is, so I'm, I'm in a time, you know, I'm in a high, I want to say for my, you know, I'm in, a, I'm in a high leverage long. What can I say? I'm in a high leverage long. Um, but I do still have capital should we dip down anywhere to around 52k. I know it might not seem like that likely anymore, but I am prepared to long to $52,000 basically. That's like the total invalidation of my trade. Well, that might have slightly changed this morning, but you know, I'm happy to long to $52,000. Like this, this whole section of here was like long territory. You know, if you want to call it long territory, I was happy to long in any of this. So although I am in a highly leveraged long right now, one of the biggest longs I've taken, but, uh, you know, I still have capital left, essentially, um, if we dip down to 52K, because I, I was happy to to buy to 52K. I was happy to buy if we had a swing failure pan. I was happy to try and create a swing failure pan, you know. <laughs> in the end, we held up our key support level. We didn't actually manage to take any swing failure patterns. We're obviously getting a, a pretty brilliant reaction off of it. But yeah, I'm in a highly leveraged long. Uh <laughs> 
Am I uh, massively bullish right now? Not really. I can't say I'm massively bullish. I'm definitely not massively bearish. I'm just literally neutral. Why, why would I be massively bullish or massively bearish? Um, you know, the answer is I'm not going to be. I'm, I'm literally just trading the charts. If the charts are telling me to long, I'm going to long. If the charts are telling me to short, I'm going to short. At the end of the day, I, I honestly couldn't care less what I'm trading in terms of a long or a short. The only trade I'm going to take is what the highest probability is. And for me, emotionally, I don't care if I short Bitcoin. I don't care if I long Bitcoin. I don't care if I'm not in a trade for two days in a row because I only want to trade the highest probability trades. And when you start to acknowledge that, when you start to realize that, when you start to think to yourself, how is Daniel on the win rate he is on? Well, it's because I literally will only take the highest probability trades. I'm not gambling. I am not taking poor trades. I'm not trading breakouts. Like, I don't trade breakouts. Um, why don't I trade breakouts? Because I'm, I'm, I, I'm being the guy that's forcing the breakout before it's even happened. So it's like, why would I trade breakouts? I just don't do it. Um, <clears throat> you know, and, and I am very patient and I am only taking what I consider good trades. Um, so that, that's how you can have a high win rate, you know, <laughs> it is how you can have it. Um, <clears throat> think if there's anything else before we end, um, uh, we got a question here. Thanks, Daniel, for your guidance. It's been tremendous. You're absolutely welcome. Uh, question. Do you think the past weekly of 57,452 is the top of this range? Well, I'd argue the top of the range is 60K, but the, the question of is the weekly 57,452, 57,452. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, I, 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 I totally think that that is definitely another level to be aware of. Do I think it's a good level to take profit? Yes, I do. <laughs> so do I think it's going to be key? 100%. I, I do think it's a definite level to be aware of. Uh, so to, your, to answer you, Sean, yes, do not forget about that weekly. Do not forget about the weekly. Okay? I do think it's a nice level. Okay? I do think it's a nice level. Um, so yeah, that, that's to answer your question. Do I think it's going to be the top of the range? Well, that obviously I, I cannot say right now. Do I think it's a nice level to be aware of, to monitor the reaction? 100% yes. 100% uh, yes. I totally do think that. Um, so yeah, a few other things that we have going on. Uh, how fast do you think I could trade one thousand dollars to ten uh, times ten? I don't really use massively high leverage, so uh, you know it's going to take a few months. Um, <clears throat> do we get a contenders chart champions morning update today? Probably I'm going to take a rest. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to sleep as soon as I finish this video. But um, when I wake up, I'll give you a uh, contenders and champions uh, update, which might be in a few hours time. Obviously, we do have the contenders. What day is it today? Yeah, it's Wednesday. So we do have a contenders live stream tonight as well. So we go in over tonight. If you want to learn, if you want the education, I have got another live stream tonight, which is this is obviously a fully focused. We're not talking about random things. It's focused learning. You know, I've, I've got all the I've got a whole slideshow preset of all the education that I want to give. Um. So, you know, if you like to actually properly learn and <laughs> and, and not have me ramble on, then, uh, you know, in, in, inside of the members live streams, there's no rambling, of course. Very professionally driven. And uh, yeah, we got that one tonight. Will I give you another update? Yeah, I'll give you another update when I wake up. Um, but the thing is, I don't, there's not really a massive ma major update that I can give you. I think if you're inside the group, you knew my, you knew my trade, you know, this is, you know, if you're literally inside of the group, you knew my trade. So I don't think there's like a massively urgent thing that I can say to anybody right now, because I think everybody period knew my trade. I think it was very, pretty obvious. No, um, <clears throat> we are at the range lows. Do, do you think I was shorting down here? I mean, I think, I think a lot of people would have been subscribed know me by now. Do, do you really think I'm going to be shorting down here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you think I'm a bad trader. We knew it was a bad trade. Unfortunately, we don't get to have the trolls that say, hey, you got wrecked because we ended up winning a game. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, obviously, we're currently up at the higher that CC. Look at this. Higher the CC. Um, see how that goes. Um, that's obviously 56,630. Uh, 56, Top of the CC. Uh Uh, da -da 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 
Da, 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 lots of questions about chart champions. If you want to join chart champions, hey, you just go on to chartchampions.com and all the information that you need is on the website. If you do need any more extra information, then obviously we have a Discord. You can message customer service. You know, they're around. You can message them and ask for any help that you need. Uh, they're, they're, they're obviously there to help you. So any questions, join our Discord. You can message customer service. All the other, uh, you know, all the stuff is really on the website. Um, uh, see if we have any other good questions here. I'd like to take high quality questions. Uh, I'll do like two questions before I end, I think. I'm going to see if I can find any nice, really nice questions. <laughs> Someone says there were, there were a lot of, there was a lot of fear in the market last night. Yes, there was a lot of fear in the market last night. And hey, that gives you the best longs. Uh, somebody else says it's Elon, it's Elon Musk driving this pump. If you think uh, if you think this is Elon Musk pumping this, then uh, how are we able to time the low uh, by a, giving a key level of support within ten dollars of the absolute low last night? That's that's what I'll say to that. Uh, uh, this is a nice this is a nice comment as I'm going through. I am a member of Chart Champions, and I can tell you, I have flipped from a gambler mindset to a true trader. I am constantly improving. Just made ten thousand dollars today, and that's that. Thank you, Daniel. You rock. The guy made ten thousand dollars today. He changed his mindset. Absolutely brilliant to read. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'm trying to find a question. I just can't find any people questioning. Um, <clears throat> you know all the questions are just should i buy and should i sell and i and i don't think these these questions offer value you know the, the questions should i buy should i sell that they're, they're just not valuable are they but no, nobody seems to ask very nice uh very nice questions they're just uh just saying you know this is a pretty good question you know this is the example of what i call a cool shout out to the legend eagle <laughs> where's the meme eagle where's the meme we gotta find it we gotta find it this is obviously being eagle when we get on the phone, you know something's going to happen. <laughs> they panic sold. <laughs> when we get on that phone. Hey. <laughs> um, yeah, there's no real questions actually coming in here. Um, Uh, all the questions are, are not, you know, I like to, I like to do the questions where people are asking me about the technical analysis, where people that actually want to learn. Like I am here to help and teach at the end of the day, but I know everybody's, the question is always when to long, when to short. Nobody ever asks the question of why do we long here? Why do we short here? Explain this trade. You know, the, always the questions that I get are when long, when short. And I just do not see the value in this question. You know, nobody asks the questions you should be asking. It's crazy. You literally have one of the, I, I, I mean this, I, I truly, truly, also like I'm proving it, like my trades are talking. You have one of the best traders in the whole of the cryptocurrency world in terms of realized profit. You know, we're making hundreds and hundreds of Bitcoin profit a month. It's the guy that's consistently giving the levels. The levels are getting reactions. Like my trades truly do all the speaking that I need. And you have one of the best traders in the world right now in front of you, which is just when you think about that, it's crazy that I'm like doing public videos and I'm totally crushing the charts, which is kind of, a, you know, it's just, it's just like, wow, I just don't feel how privileged actually it is t for me to even, you know, to, to, to share some of the information I'm sharing is crazy. And then on top of that, instead of people wanting to absorb the knowledge, they ask when to long and when to short. I just, I mean, it blows my mind. It really, really does. Um, <laughs> it really blows my mind, but Hey, this is why 95% of people lose money. Why? Because they don't want to learn. They just want to know when buy, when sell. And it really is crazy, no? It really is crazy. Um, anyway, I'm going to go get some sleep. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Tito from Traders Rally Center here. Shout out to Tito. I hope you enjoy. Uh, going to go for a little bit of a sleep now. Uh, what can I say? Ladies and gentlemen, I absolutely do love you. Don't get me wrong. I love you all. I, I truly love you all. Uh, you know, because of the community, I'm here. You know, these are the sort of comments I received on yesterday's video. Just just look at these comments. They're absolutely beautiful. This, you know, I absolutely love you all. Um, this guy, 
never too old to learn, they say. That's me at 75. 75. And he's still standing. Thanks, Daniel. Good stuff. Joining tonight. You know, 75, Ian. And he's out here learning to trade. What a what an absolute legend. What an absolute legend. This video is fantastic. Metaphorically speaking, Tour de France. You're the guy in the mountains while everyone else is cracking. You're digging deeper, cranking harder, taking the points from the sprinters and wearing the polka dot jersey. Anyone can pedal fast on the flats. It's the mountains which separate the men from the boys. Thanks, Daniel, for making me a better trailer. <laughs> we appreciate your videos, Daniel. It helps the little guys make more sense of the market. You know, I like this guy. Honestly, you give away too much for free. It would be enough to show your trades from yesterday, successful or otherwise, and the public can pay for your in-depth amount of analysis in a membership. Just saying, you are too generous. You are too kind. Um, it really shows how important it is for you to help and educate, and that's why we love you from Canada. Maybe this is true. Maybe I am giving too much away for free. Um, yeah, maybe I am. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It's not like I do a lot of... I, I, I do think I make a, a conscious separation of what I talk about in the public and what I talk about in my members videos. You know, if you're a member, I think you can... I do think you can tell the separation of... You know, it's not like I'm really explaining a lot of stuff here. Uh, like, I'm giving value, but at the same time, I'm not living, like, massive 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 value that you obviously get inside of the membership so i do make a conscious you know <laughs> when i'm talking about things the longer the video the better love hearing everything you have to say you're an absolute legend you know <laughs> dan you never stop rambling your your rambles are pure goals thank you for both chart champion streams and public video today i actually love the public youtube video and i appreciate when you go on too long and ramble that it might seem like you're providing super flucious information i i, I can't pronounce complicated english words <laughs> it actually allows us to get into your stream of consciousness mind and helps us better and you know these are the these this what i do you know we received hundreds of comments like yesterday all the same like hundreds of comments people loving what we're doing they're learning they're understanding you know what can i say this is this is really 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 was a brilliant brilliant it was it was lovely all the comments you know time and time again thank you daniel ramble on i appreciate the upload informative you know, this is, this is what I love. I, I do, truly do love it. Always good to have your technical analysis ideas. What can I say? I love you all. I love the community. I truly do. I'm here to help. I hope that you can help yourselves by letting me help you. And um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to hit, I want to wish you a brilliant day. I want to wish you a brilliant day. I wanna, want to, want you to enjoy yourself. I want to say thank you. And I want to say, um, I want to want, want, want to say I, I trade this chart neutrally. Um, if we, if you know, let's just say we we have literally just hit the top of the CC. Let's just say we totally reject from here when we go down, crashing all the way to forty thousand dollars. Is that the end of the world? No. Why is it not the end of the world? Because I really think you should be in a very comfortable position right now in profits. Stop loss in profits. Uh, you know, world is your oyster, so to speak. Now, but um, you know, this is the top of the CC that we are grinding against right now can we break through of course we can but this is a pretty important level top of the cc and um yeah i i, I really do need to go and sleep <laughs> so I'll, I'll give you all an up well, i'm going to give the contenders and champions an update and I'll, i've obviously got my contenders live stream <laughs> tonight as well pumping out the content what can i say Hope that I've been assisting you of explaining why I long down here, literally because we're at the low of the range. I hope I've been assisting you in terms of giving you a next important level in terms of a resistance, which literally is $56,662 being the top of the CC. That re give or take, you know, give or take $50 either side of it. I'm giving you that level today now. And uh, obviously, you know this, this weekly above you now, don't you? <laughs> 57,452, that, that, that is correct. Um, uh, and... Uh, I will take this last comment before I end. Hey, Dan, you're amazing value. Not being mean. If £100 is good money for you, then do contender content make good value? Do contenders get some of the trades you're taking? Uh, to answer that, the contenders, so I'm going to end with this and then I'm wrapping it up. Contenders is focused on education. So the contenders group is truly focused purely on education. They get the educational material. Okay, obviously we've got the champion section, the contender section and the free spectator section. The contenders is focused on education. So if you want the trading help and you're going to see this, um, you know, trading another employee of ours, trading assistant. You can see he's answering questions right now as we're speaking. He's in here all the time answering questions. Good morning. You know, he's in here answering a lot of questions. And, um, you know, if you need a help in that regards, 
then we got people to help you. Um, but contenders is focused on education. Champions are a little bit more um, focused on, um, you know, focused on the actual trades, I suppose. Uh, so contenders is education. Champions is a little bit more focused on actually uh, executing trades, I suppose. And of course, you you get the memes. <laughs> you also you also get the memes. Uh, <laughs> We're the best meme signal group in the world, what can I say? Um, but there you go. Thanks, everybody. I really do hope you've enjoyed. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go get some sleep. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. And um, stay safe out there. Remember, at the top of the CC, it's not a good time to long. That's, that's all we can say. Thank you ever so much. And goodbye.